Entomology is the biology of insects and it is divided into two parts. One, the basic entomology and the other, applied entomology which are complementary to each other. The basic entomology deals with morphology, physiology, embryology, biochemistry, endocrinology and taxonomy. The applied entomology on the other hand deals with welfare of beneficial and destructive insects. The sericulture, apiculture and lacquerculture are developed as the most flourishing agro-industries. The destructive insects since ancient times pose a serious threat to the mankind as they are destroying various agricultural crops and adversely affecting domestic animals and the public health. And the public health. Because of this reason, independent branches of applied entomology such as agricultural entomology, forest entomology, veterinary entomology and medical entomology have emerged and rapidly grown to a great extent. Entomology has played a vital role in the establishment of various modern biosciences such as the cytology and genetic parasitology, toxicology, molecular biology, endocrinology and biotechnology etc. The vast development of entomology is linked to the unchallenged supremacy of the insects amongst the living world. They form the largest fauna of all living animals inhabiting the earth and have occupied almost all ecological niches from the frozen Antarctica to the dry deserts, springs, high mountains and of course they have equally dominated the water, land and air. A large number of insects are well adapted to stay on or inside the animal as well as the plant body. The insects originated in the lower Devonian period and are considered to be the descendant of Symphyla, Mariapoda or Protoptera. They are as, as small as the protozoa, 0.2 mm long, trichoptergid. Myanmar and as large as the medium sized vertebrae. 75 cm long. Insect and characteristics. The insects are the unique arthropods. The insects are the unique arthropods bearing distinct head, thorax, and abdomen. A single pair of antennae, two pairs of walking legs or hexapoda, one or two pairs of wings, terigota, and a long abdomen bearing distally and genital. Geni distally the genital appendages. The insects are the tracheate arthropods and the integument is composed of chitinous cuticle by virtue of which it molds repeatedly during the post embryonic development. The body of the insect is basically composed of six segmented head, three segmented thorax and twelve segmented abdomen. But the entire body organization has evolved so widely that the living insects are grouped into 29 distinct orders and each order consists of a large number of families and subfamilies embodying a number of genera and species. Some of the widely diversified evolutionary trends can be understood from the following features. The head and in the most part of the body is developed as hypognathus orthopteroid insects, prognathus diptera or opisthognathus hemiptera head. The antennae, they are paired uniramus cephalic appendages and are greatly modified structures. They can be classified into the following types like cetaceous, filiform, moniliform, serrate, pectinate, clavate, capitate, lamellate, geniculate, glumos, stylate, eristate. Feeding organs and mechanisms, they are adapted to various types of feeding habits, mostly because of extreme evolution of their mouthparts, chewing, biting mouthparts, primitive type orthopteroid insects, rasping, sucking type with a single mandible, mandibulate and paired maxillary short stylets, for example, trips, piercing, sucking mouthparts, hemipterous piercing, sucking mouthparts with paired elongate, elongate mandibular and maxillary stylets 
enclosed in a long proboscis formed by labium for example bugs anopleuron psa psa means piercing sucking mouth part with three superimposed stylets dorsal maxillary middle hypopharyngeal and ventral labial enclosed in a stylet sac biting lice for example mosquito psm with paired elongate mandibular maxillary and single lateral and hypopharyngeal stylets besides a long labial proboscis female anopheles then house fly psm similar to mosquito subtype but stylets are blade like flattened structures house fly tabanus then muscoid psm with epipharyngeal labial and hypopharyngeal stylets and piercing labial proboscis then siphonotarus psm with a pair of maxillary lacinial stylets and an epipharyngeal stylets for example fleas sponging mouth parts with a long labial proboscis and labrum hypopharynx house fly musk siphoning mouth parts with a long coiled tube formed from opposite gallia butterflies and moths lapping mouth parts with a long lapping tongue like glossa and lateral labial and maxillary palps and gallia honey bee and apis then filter feeding mouth parts mosquito larvae the thorax it is basically a three segmented middle region of the body it is especially developed as a locomotory apparatus consisting three pairs of legs as the lateral appendages of each segment and two pairs of membranous wings as the lateral integumentary folds of the meso and metathoracic segments the legs are typical in their organization and are greatly modified to serve various types of locomotions the insect leg is typically composed of six segments and are anterior posteriorly called as the coxa trochanter and the femur tibia tarsus and the pretarsus or foot with a pair of lateral claws and a median muscular pad the aroilium various types of legs are given below ambulacral cursorial saltatorial natatorial claspurial raptorial fusorial fossorial corbiculate So these are the types of legs like ambulacral, walking legs, cursorial, running legs, saltatorial, leaping or jumping legs, natatorial, swimming legs, claspurial, clinging or clasping legs, raptorial, prehensile legs, fossorial, digging legs, corbiculate, pollen, collecting legs. The tarsus is divided into one to six segments and it is therefore of great taxonomic significance. The abdominal legs of larvae caterpillars are called the pro legs which are hollow and unsegmented lateral extensions of the integument the wings the insects are the only invertebrates possessing the wings or pterygota in case and because of this virtue they are adapted to the aerial life except epterygotes and some parasitic insects lice fleas bugs termites ants etc all other insects possess two pairs of wings one attached to mesothorax that means four wings and another to metathorax hind wings diptera and male coccids present possess uh, only a single pair of wings four wings and the hind wings are modified into thread like structures the halters four wings of some insects are modified into thick leathery structures the tegmina orthoptera dictyoptera plasmid phasmida or into hard cony covers the elytra while in some insects only the basal region of four wings is modified into elytra and the wings are called the hemielytra heteroptera wings are invaded by the longitudinal and cross veins forming a complex venation and it is species specific and therefore of a great taxonomic significance the common longitudinal and coastal veins are given below like costa subcosta radius media cubit cubitus cubitus subcubitus anal or vanal jugal
ക്രോസ് വെയിൻസ് ഹ്യൂമറൽ കോസ്റ്റൽ റേഡിയൽ സെക്ടോറൽ ദൻ റേഡിയോ മീഡിയൽ ഇൻറ്റർമീഡിയൽ മീഡിയോ ക്യുബൈറ്റൽ ഇൻറ്റർ ക്യുബൈറ്റൽ ക്യുബൈറ്റോ ഏനൽ ഇൻറ്റർ ഏനൽ ഓക്കെ ദി അപ്ഡമൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ട്വൽവ് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് ലാർജ് എലോങ്ങേറ്റഡ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ബോഡി വയലിൻ കോളം ബോള ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സിക്സ് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ആർ സെക്കൻഡറിലി റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ലാർജ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇൻസെക്ട്സ് ദ ലെവൻത്ത് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് ബിയേഴ്സ് എ പെയർ ഓഫ് സെർസൈ ആൻഡ് ദ ട്വൽത്ത് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇസ് മോഡിഫൈഡ് ഇൻ ടു ദി പാരാപ്രോക്ട്സ് അഡൽട്ട് ഇൻസെക്ട്സ് പ്രൊസസ് ഫീമെയിൽ ജനറ്റാലിയ ഇൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് അബ്ജമൻ ദ പ്രീ ജനൈറ്റൽ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ആർ ഡിവൈഡ് ഓഫ് അപ്പൻഡേറ്റസ് ഇൻ ലാർജ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇൻസെക്ട്സ് ബട്ട് ഒക്കെ ഇൻ എപ്റ്റരിക്കോട്ട ആൻഡ് ലാർവേ ഓഫ് സം ന്യൂറോപ്റ്റെറ എഫിമറോപ്റ്റെറ ലെബിഡോപ്റ്റെറ എക്സെട്രാ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ ഫീമെയിൽ ജനൈറ്റാലിയ ഇസ് റെപ്രസെൻറ്റഡ് ബൈ ദി ലോങ് ട്യൂബിലാർ ഓവിപ്പോസിറ്റ ബൈ എൽ മെയിൽ ജനൈറ്റാലിയ ദ മീഡിയൻ ഫാലസ് എഡിക്കസ് പീനസ് ആൻഡ് ക്ലാസ്പേഴ്സ് ഓർ ബേബി ഫാലിക് ഓർഗൻസ് these are paired famous in ephemeroptera and dermaptera while lobular or tubular single into intromittent organ in other insects it may be segmented and complex structure pertaining to taxonomic significance in odonata secondary copulatory apparatus is developed on the second and third abdominal stem and serves as a major taxonomic tool in classification the postgenital appendages are represented by a pair of cerci associated with the segment 11 in apterigota hemimetabola except hemiptera and in macoptera and symphyta the tracheal system it is composed of external segmental spiracles and internal network of tracheae the tracheal system varies among insects showing a great taxonomic significance it is classified into the following types like polyneustic open tracheal system with meso metathoracic and eight abdominal pairs of spiracles holoneustic with all 10 pairs of functional spiracles hemimetabola hemineustic only mesothoracic and the first seven abdominal spiracles are functional in larvae then perineustic only nine pairs of spiracles are functional and the metathoracic one is non functional larvae of neuroptera lepidoptera then oligoneustic partially open tracheal system amphineustic only first thoracic and last abdominal spiracles are functional dipteran larvae then metamneustic only last abdominal pair of spiracles are functional first insta dipteran larvae then proneustic only mesothoracic spiracles are functional dipteran pupae then aneustic closed tracheal system aquatic and endoparasitic larvae hyponeustic degenerated tracheal system like malofaca syphangulita coccyx and columbola then hyponeustic more than 10 pairs of spiracles diplura with four pairs of thoracic and seven pairs of abdominal spiracles the aquatic respiratory organs they are evolved variably like abdominal gills caudal gills rectal gills spiracular gills blood gills and plastron etc species specific in their structure and are of taxonomic significance like abdominal gills nymphs of plecoptera zygoptera and trichoptera and larvae caudal gills nymphs of zygoptera rectal gills nymphs of anisoptera spiracular gills pseudopoda cephnoids beetle and tubulid similid larvae blood gills trichopteran and paranormus larvae plastron aquatic beetles bugs eggs etc the sensory organs they are widely evolved the visual organs eyes are of three types ocelli one dorsal and two lateral nymphs and adult insect stemata last lateral groups of omatidia in holo metabolus larvae compound eyes composed of large number of omatidia in large number of insects then the mechano receptors include trichoid sensilla on antenata sitb and sersi campaniform sensilla in at wing base halter sersi palps and legs 
then cortisone logins are developed as intravisceral meta mechano receptors and are of two types integumental and subintegumental some cortisone logins are modified into following structures like johnson's organ in pedicel of antony and act as aerial or aquatic indicators sub genuine logins are located in proximal part of tibia of legs and are highly developed in odonata dictyoptera and orthoptera and respond to substratum vibrations and airborne sounds tympanal logins are of integumental and sub integumental types they are found in various structures like four legs first abdominal segment second abdominal segment they are the auditory organs of insects and then in the chemo receptors gustatory and olfactory types are well developed in insects they are represented by four types of sensilla sensilla trichoidea sensilla basiconica sensilla siliconica and sensilla placoidea the effector organs are of two types and well developed in a large number of insects the sound producing organs including stridulatory apparatus consisting of file which is a series of ridges and a spine like scraper movement of scraper over file causes the membrane to which file is attached to vibrate so that the sound is produced orthoptera heteroptera coleoptera electrical apparatus electrical apparatus is present in grilloidea and tetigonidae and formo electrical apparatus in acridoidea then tympan on dorsolateral region of the first abdominal segment in the mates in cicada males in cicada platy pleura etc a membranous tympan is in circle by a thick cuticular rim and striated by dorso ventral ribs while extremely and externally protected by a thick cuticular covering and internally attached with a fibrillar tympan muscle and backed by an air sac which communicates outside via metathoracic spiracles sound is produced with contraction of tympan muscles causing pulling of the tympan epipharynx in the mouth mouth air is sucked through proboscis which causes vibration of epipharynx and the sound is produced the light producing organs are developed from ventral fat body in columbola dipteran larvae some bugs and codipteran fireflies light is produced due to oxidation of luciferin by an enzyme luciferase metamorphosis is vigorous in the holo metabola showing various types of larvae and pupae larvae of various types a ruciform larvae polypodus with abdominal prolex in case of lepidoptera symphyta then cambodiform larvae oligopodus without abdominal prolex and an abdomen is curved less sclerotized sluggish short legged and then they are called scarabelliform larvae or grubs then maggots without legs eucephalus hemicephalus or acephalus larvae found in diptera then pupae with the appendages free from body are called exerate pupae while if appendages are glued to body object pupae when articulated mandibles are present edecticus pupae decticus pupae are always exerate origin and evolution of insects earlier annelids and arthropods were grouped into a common phylum the articulata because of these common characteristics and suggested monophyletic origin for their groups from a common most primitive extant annelid ancestor these primitive lobopod annelids are categorized with annelated podia anterior proboscis in the stem with lateral diverticula and without nephridia hypothesis suggested that from such a low pod analyte the middle cambrian onychophoran fossil 